my ukulele tool kit. First requirement and my favorite tool is the push pin for making a hole in the neck so I can drill strap buttons or screw a strap button in. I may or may not use a, a drill. But this really is a very cool tool. It takes the stress out of installing strap buttons for the first time. This is a hand vise, and that also can be used to make a hole in your ukulele so that you won't have to worry when it comes time to screw in the screw for the strap button. There are many videos on my channel that tell how to do that. I'm not going into it right now. That is a real tool. This is a tool. You'll need this to tune your ukulele. And I don't use a fancy tuner. I don't use an app. I don't tune off of a piano. I like this tuner. So, other tools. Of course, you'll be using the internet YouTube most likely to learn songs, so that is a tool. The camera that I'm using to record this video is probably my most important tool because I continually record things that I do with ukulele and that helps me tremendously. Everybody needs some kind of book and I love this book right here for piano and ukulele. It's a great simple book and these people, Hal Leonard, make many books like this in this style. I love it. This has been an essential book. I can't say that I followed it page by page, but I like it a lot. Ukulele Mike. Everybody's Ukulele Method 1, and they have several books in this series. It teaches you all about music, not just ukulele. And the daily ukulele books. These are terrific, wonderful, because it gives you an endless supply of songs to sing. And some are very easy, some are average, some are difficult, and lots and lots of chords and other things. Daily ukulele. The first few years that I played, I didn't use this very much. It was much too challenging for me. <laughs> but now I find it's really nice to have a source of music where you don't have to go uh, search up sheet music. So when I came to think about my ukulele toolkit, it wasn't really going to be about tools. It was going to be about things that make my music, that I really require to make beautiful music or interesting music or create my own music. This is another tool, by the way. String Action Ruler. That's what I use right there. <laughs> I gave my String Action Ruler to my friend Dennis. I don't need it. I don't want it. So, bye-bye. But other people may want to know the string height on their ukulele. That's the kind of a thing that worries new players, I think. And um, 
Bottom line, all ukuleles come set up just fine for me. I don't think I've ever, well I have, I've changed the action on a few ukuleles and fooled with them. But most I have not, ever. I've never adjusted the action on a caramel ukulele. So, here are some tools that are not actually tools. Oh, did I show you my ratchet screwdriver? It's the only screwdriver I will use when I'm putting strap buttons in a ukulele. You want one that you feel very confident with. So I got this here, ratchet screwdriver. I've had this screwdriver over 50 years and still works just fine. Okay, here are the true blue and important tools. First tool, and these, these things have come to me fairly recently for the most part. Capo, tremendous tool for instantly changing the sound of your ukulele. I love a capo. And recently, I have begun playing more chords. The more chords you play, the bigger your voice is, and the better your voice is, and the larger your ukulele vocabulary is. So play many chords. It's fine, as I did, to stick with C, G7, F, and a few other one finger chords for a, a time, but to expand your music, you really need to expand the chords that you play. So, when I made it my life's goal to learn the key of D chords. In just a couple of days, I really changed my music around because I found that all the songs that I could play in the key of C, I now could play in the key of D. And even though I'm still not quite really assured of making all these chords, is coming very fast and it's re revolutionizing my music. So the capo was a huge thing for me. And then the key of D is tremendous. And guess what? I can use capo and key of D. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll see how that works. But anyway, capo and learn the key of D chords and how to play songs in key of D. And that can be as simple as playing um, a, a two chord song, D and A7. And then you can play D, A7, G, A, and you've got something there. And you can play all the songs you can play with key of C, with G7, F, and C, you can play with D. And start off with the D chord. A7, A, A minor, G. Wow, that's a whole universe of new sounds. And your songs will sound so much better. So, after the uh, chords and the capo and different tunings, 
which I really didn't get into, like uh, DGBE on the baritone ukulele, put a capo all up and down the neck of a baritone ukulele to change the sound. Capo will change the sound of your GCEA instrument and will actually give you detuning. How about that? Detuning. If you put it on the second fret. Wow. So after you've got all your tunings and your capo and your chords, the next thing will be how you strum or how you finger pick and what magical ways you can make the ukulele speak with the right hand. Of course, the left hand really adds all the nuances and things, but the right hand is important too. And there are lots and lots and lots of things. For me personally, this is my own finger picking method. But at the moment, what I'm most excited about is the thumb strum. I just like the thumb strum. It's a simple way while I'm learning and focusing my attention on chords now. I don't have as much attention to give to the right hand. And that's the way it should be. Whatever you're working on, then you work on that and let the other take care of itself until it's time work on the right hand but I've got many things that I can do with the right hand but thumb strum right now is quite nice enough we found Ginger and I that when we're playing together thumb strum is really the only way to go when I start regular strumming it drowns out her voice and we would rather keep the emphasis on the, the vocal sounds rather than doing so much uh, with the ukulele. We certainly don't want it to drown out our voices. The thumb strum is not a baby strum. As far as I'm concerned, it's as important as any other strum that you have. And I like it. Another tool in my toolkit then would be Ginger. Her playing with me has really, really made my videos more exciting to me and to people on my YouTube channel. And anytime you can bring somebody else into the music that doubles everybody else's pleasure so I have somebody else to play with is great and the last thing I'm going to talk about tools in my ukulele tool kit and I would say vocalizations are one of the strengths of my ukulele game I really love making different sounds when I'm playing ukulele. And I can't tell anybody how to do that or whether they should do it. I don't know if people like what I do or not, but I like it, so it makes my music more enjoyable to me.
So those are a few of my ukulele tools. And everybody should know what their strengths are and what they're carrying in their ukulele toolkit. Thanks for watching.